Happy Hammer here, and this is the second part of making the bus, the hamster travel cage. Now, the hamster will might chew through this, so you might have to get a new box, maybe every couple of months or so, but it will do. It saves you a lot of money. So, for this part, you will need this. I'm sure you will have this because if any of you are went back to school these days lately, you need this to wrap your books. If you don't have this, it's one to ninety-nine. It's not too dear. Instead of paying like twenty for the real thing. So you need this. I've changed locations. I am in the back garden. So, you need that. You need your box, of course. This is not fully dry, but you should wait to fully dry. Till it's fully dry. I just have no patience. You need scissors. So, this part won't be in it. You'll only be doing this part. So, that's out of the way. So, first thing you have to do is get your scissors. And your box might be like like this. It's already open for you. If not, just pull this off, pull it open, and it will be open for you. Mine just broke open. So yeah, then you get your your box. And on the side of it, you get your scissors or a box cutter, that'd be even better than scissors, and punch a hole like that and start your cut. Cut a rectangular shape at the side of your box. It doesn't have to be too big. Just like this. It doesn't have to be terribly straight either. See, it's all wobbly. So, yeah, so it'll be kind of like that. Keep doing it. It's pretty hard with scissors to cut cardboard. A box cutter would be far easier. I don't know what a knife would be like. So I'm nearly done. So I cut it out. So here's shape. Keep this bit of cardboard. So we'll have to use that as the wheels. This won't roll along, but still, it's good. You can drag it along. So you don't even have to put wheels on it. So then you cut it on two sides. So I'll be right back when I cut this side.
sorry about that. I, th I thought that my camera was paused. So, that fell on me. Goodness, sorry it didn't show it in the camera. That was kind of a waste of time. But I'm nearly finished. So, yeah. It's out. There's a bit of paint here. But I'm going to paint all along here. And so that's fine. So you should have your two holes. Sorry. Fingers. So it's like that now. Uh, I don't know how many minutes I was cutting for. So this is going to be a long part. And then you get your thing. And you're going to measure how much you want to cut out so I just leave a bit of the edge oh and I forgot you need cell tape I'll get that in a minute okay. so I want it there This is like the tricky part of it. It's very hard to keep it seeable. So yeah, and once you have it cut out, so cut that. Part. So there I have my piece. Don't be afraid if it doesn't fit. This will probably not fit because it's just trial and error. So this barely fits, but the cell tape will work. So this fits. See, it looks like there's nothing there, but it's actually there, so the hamster can't get out. So I got my cell tape. So then So I stuck it. So I'm just going to do the next side to see. Oh, and on the sides, you have to put cell tape along here as well. So now I'm going to do the other side. So I've done exactly the same on the other side. And that's the end of part two. Sorry it was a bit long because it was filming that time. So please comment, rate and subscribe.